Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia News Line and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Friday, the 22nd of September. India protests after China bars three athletes from Asian Games. Pakistan sets election for January, likely minus Imran Khan. And Sri Lankan president urges world to put aside rivalries for climate change solution. And now for all the details, India on Friday lodged a strong protest both in New Delhi and Beijing after China denied accreditation and entry to some of its sports persons scheduled to participate in the 19th Asian Games. Foreign Ministry spokesperson Arindam Bakchi, rejecting the differential treatment to Indian athletes, said that Chinese authorities have targeted and in a premeditated manner discriminated against Indian athletes from the state of Arunachal Pradesh, which is against the spirit of the Asian Games and violation of the rules governing their conduct. He said India reserves the right to take suitable measures to safeguard its interests and added that as a mark of protest, Sports Minister Anurag Thakur has cancelled his participation in the inauguration of the Asiat on Saturday. We had a meeting yesterday with the working group as well, oh. and it's been taken up in the working group meeting, and they're taking it up with the government, and we are also taking it up with the government. We had, it's uh, you know, under discussion with us as well. This is outside what the government to government is happening. We are from the OCA side of it, we are doing it. Bilateral ties between India and China have turned sour since 2020 after a deadly border clash between the forces of both countries in Galwan Valley. Arunachal Pradesh is among one of the flashpoints between India and China as Beijing claims the northeastern Indian state to be a part of Chinese-controlled Tibet and in past had also released a map renaming cities in Arunachal Pradesh to some Chinese names. And a day after the Indian Parliament passed the Women's Reservation Bill, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that it is not a normal law but is the proclamation of a new democratic commitment to a new India. Addressing the women workers of ruling BJP in New Delhi, PM Modi said the decision will be celebrated by the generations to come and also thanked political parties and the members of the parliament for voting in support of the bill. He said he has fulfilled the commitment that the nation has waited for decades. Koti Koti Janone Hamedia. Ane Vali Aneko Pidiotak Is Nirneki Charta Hogi Is Divoski Charta Hogi Mapure Desko Nari Shakti Bandan Adriam संसद के दोनों सदनों में और भारी बहुमत से और राज्यसभा में तो सर्वसम्मति से पास होने की बहुत बहुत बधाई देता Meanwhile, opposition Congress leader Rahul Gandhi on Friday praised the bill but termed it a distraction and diversion tactic from the demand for a caste census. Raising questions on the timeline for its implementation, he said nobody knows if this bill will even be implemented. The legislation reserves one-third of seats in Lok Sabha and state legislatures and came after a 27-year long wait. The government has kept this country in the country, but the reality is that it will implement today for 10 years. It will not be known if it will happen or not happen. तो एक प्रकार से ये डिस्ट्रैक्शन टैक्टिक है डाइवर्जन टैक्टिक है डाइवर्जन किस चीज से हो रहा है डाइवर्जन ओबीसी सेंसस से हो रहा है एंड मिर्वाइज उमर फारूक चेयरमैन ऑफ द सेपरेटिस्ट हुरियत कॉन्फ्रेंस वाज रिलीज्ड फ्रॉम हाउस अरेस्ट आफ्टर फोर इयर्स ऑन फ्राइडे ही वाज रिपोर्टेडली टेकन इनटू डिटेंशन ऑन 5th ऑफ अगस्त इन 2019 the day the BJP-led centre government abrogated Article 370 and bifurcated the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir into two union territories. 
Farooq, who is a cleric, led Friday prayers at Srinagar's Jama Masjid. His release comes days after he had moved a petition in the High Court. Jammu and Kashmir Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha had, however, categorically denied his detention by asserting that he was free to relocate to any location. First of all, we do this on the side of the government. It's a long time, it's a long time. It's a long time, it's a long time. बंद रखा नहीं जाना चाहिए था चाहूँगा कि वो न सिर्फ जामा मस्जिद में भी बल्कि बाहर घूम के जो उनकी सोशो रिलीजियस रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज हैं वो पूरी तरह से अब शुरू करें मूविंग ऑन द इलेक्शन कमीशन ऑफ पाकिस्तान ऑन थर्सडे अनाउंस जनरल इलेक्शन फॉर जनवरी थ्री मंथ्स लेटर देन शेड्यूल्ड रिमूविंग द अनसर्टेनिटी अबाउट व्हेन द पोल्स वुड बी हेल्ड एज द कंट्री स्ट्रगल्स टू स्टे ऑन अ नैरो स्टेबलाइजेशन पाथ अमिट एन इकोनॉमिक मेलडाउन ओरिजिनली शेड्यूल्ड टू बी हेल्ड विद इन नाइन्टी डेज ऑफ द डिजोल्यूशन ऑफ द लोअर हाउस ऑफ पार्लियामेंट इन ऑगस्ट द पोल्स वर डिलेड सब्जेक्टेड टू डिलिमिटेशन विच द इलेक्शन कमीशन हैज सेट विल कंक्लूड बाई नवंबर थर्टीएथ दिस ईयर The poll body said following the delimitations the vote will take place late in January after the conclusion of a process that includes filing nomination papers appeals and campaigning However former premier and main opposition leader Imran Khan cannot fight the selection as he has been barred from public office for 5 years after a corruption investigation A political activist raised concern over the plight of people in POK and Gilgit Baltistan due to Islamabad's discriminatory policies as he urged the United Nations to intervene. A report. Political activist Shaukat Ali Kashmiri highlighted the plight of people of POK and Gilgit Baltistan under Pakistan's rule in his intervention during the UNHRC session in Geneva this week and urged the world body to intervene. The activist said there is growing unrest in the occupied territories due to heavy taxes being imposed and record high inflation while the locals have been completely marginalized with their culture natural resources and rights being deprived from them Recently the people of Pakistani administrated Azad Jammu and Kashmir and Gilgit Baltistan has staged massive protest in the length and breadth of both regions but Pakistani media has totally black out these massive peoples on road demand ownership of their natural resources revival of their statehood availability of subsidies subsidized food essentials exceeding electricity bills and illegal taxes locals blame it is part of islamabad's agenda to keep them under developed people demanding their rights are more than often subjected to inhumane treatment and their voices are muzzled with brute force Sri Lankan president Ranil Wickremesinghe on Thursday said that countries like theirs find it hard to remain neutral and non-aligned amidst rivalries of superpowers and new alliances He made the remarks calling on the world to put aside its differences to tackle climate change in his address to the UN General Assembly in New York He said unfortunately the Security Council has failed to give priority to these connected issues of climate change debt relief and sustainable development in the world where new centers of global power have emerged accompanying this systemic change are on one hand great expectations of development and human progress with millions of people rising out of poverty to prosperity on the other hand we see a world where former big power rivalries and geopolitical tensions have reignited in open war overlapping with new theaters of conflict and tension sri lanka is in the midst of a devastating drought that has put pressure on its crucial agricultural sector The country's central bank has warned that the dry weather coupled with higher global oil and commodity prices could affect the country's development. The elite aerobatic team of the Indian Air Force Surya Kiran enthralled audiences as they roared in the sky in Jammu city during an event commemorating 76 years of accession of Jammu and Kashmir to India along with the Diamond Jubilee anniversary of the Air Force station in Jammu. performing loops barrel rolls and dazzling maneuvers fighter planes left behind a trail of vapors 
slithering and small team insertion and extraction techniques by the IAF girl commandos and free fall para jumps from the Akash Ganga Daredevil skydiving team also formed part of the demonstrations. This is a proud movement for watching. I mean, wrong to stand up when you are standing up in your country or your air force brothers like this, you are showing your power, you are showing your power, you are showing your power. तो हमें लगता है कि हर इंसान हर भारतीय को कुछ न कुछ करके दिखाना चाहिए। That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time next week. Have a great weekend. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.